In this demonstration, I'll solve the turbo system problem set up in the previous demonstration and then extract the speed line from the resulting solution. First, I'll open Solver and submit the case. You can observe the monitor for the head variable converges after approximately 100 iterations. Now that a solution has been found, I'll evaluate the results in CFD Post. CFD Post is capable of automatically producing customizable reports which contain plots, charts, and variable values relevant to the machine type analyzed. In this case, I'll generate a pump impeller report. At the beginning of the report, CFD Post displays the head and efficiency of the impeller. As I scroll down, you can see the aforementioned plots. First, I can review the blade loading charts which shows the pressure distribution on the blade surface at a given spanwise location. Then, the streamwise charts and spanwise plots can be reviewed. The report also includes a complete isometric view of the blade, hub, and shroud, followed by a view of the blade mesh. Blade to blade contour plots were also generated at multiple span wise locations for pressure and velocity. Blade to blade plots are unwrapped angle preserving views that display data at a constant span. Pressure contours and velocity vector plots on these surfaces can help to identify flow separation from the blade. Meridional plots display circumferentially averaged quantities in meridional space. These plots help with the identification of any flow non-uniformities within the flow path, such as separated flow from the hub or shroud surfaces. Circumferential plots of the pressure at the leading and trailing edge were also generated. These contour plots are created at surfaces which are situated at constant, blade-aligned, streamwise locations. Contour plots displayed on these surfaces are used to observe the spanwise and pitchwise variation in the flow and pressure at the leading and trailing edge. Finally, a vector streamline plot was generated, which shows the path of a sample particle through the impeller. Speed lines provide pump designers with important information on a particular impeller's performance. CFD Post is capable of quickly producing speed lines through using the parameterization functionality in Workbench. Using the same method, I can also produce an efficiency versus flow rate curve. Conveniently, I can use this method to produce plots relating the mass flow rate with any output parameter, such as torque or shaft power, which represent important pieces of information for pump designers. To do this, I need to define input and output parameters. Since CFD Post is already open, I can conveniently define head and efficiency as workbench output parameters. Looking at Workbench, you'll notice that a parameter bar is now available. Now I can define the mass flow rate through the R1 outlet and CFX Pre with the following expression. Now, I can define it as a workbench input parameter. In the parameterization tab, I can vary my input parameter and obtain values for the output parameters that I specified. Now, I can define a set of points in the design points section and calculate the output parameters by selecting update. Upon clicking Update, the solver will run the calculation at each specified flow rate and then output an efficiency and head value. This produces a well-defined speed line with an efficiency versus mass flow rate curve. The parameterization functionality automates the analysis of an impeller's design, allowing for an efficient design and optimization process. Now that this workflow has been established in the workbench, I can make modifications to my geometry using Vista, CPD, or BladeGen. From there, I can automatically regenerate a mesh and turbo grid, 
run the simulation, and then evaluate the results through inspection of the automatically generated report and speed line. This concludes this demonstration on how to use the ANSYS Turbo System to design, mesh, simulate, and then analyze a pump impeller.